Nando Eggenberger. Remember him? I made a video about him talking about how he was invited to the Vancouver Canucks prospect development camp. The way that things were supposed to work out was that he would join the camp, do the grouse grind, do the cooking contest, be in the summer showcase, he'd do all the Canucks prospect things, alongside of the other guys that we invited like Tyler Soy, Dylan Ploof, etc. But, as I noted in the comment section of that video, Eggenberger ended up not going because he got injured, so he missed out on the entire camp. Now, just about a week ago, it's been confirmed that Eggenberger is going to go to the Oshawa Generals of the OHL, which is great, because the Generals, they picked him up in the import draft and they recently signed him, so now, going into 2018-2019, Nando Eggenberger is going to be a part of the OHL. This is going to be a great step moving forward, seeing as Eggenberger is a player who a lot of people don't really know the skill level of because he did spend the last few years of his hockey playing career in the NLA playing for the hockey club Davos, but his NLA numbers really aren't all that impressive. Throughout the three seasons that he's played with Davos, in 66 games played, he's got 7 goals and 10 total points. That's not necessarily anything special, but at the same time, you have to take a look at the fact that he is 18. Born October in 1999, he's got an early birthday, and a lot of people were expecting him to be drafted by an NHL club in the 2018 draft, considering he was a player who was playing professionally for the past three years, and he is pretty young. So now, because this is a player who a lot of people were expecting to be drafted, it gives him an opportunity to actually get himself drafted in a later round in 2019, because I think he's still eligible to be drafted, if I'm not mistaken. So, overall, things are looking good for Eggenberger. We'll finally see him with a good pool of talent that is closer to his own level, because going over to the OHL, he'll be playing with a whole bunch of younger kids, not with a whole bunch of men like he is in Davos. Not to say that he was all too bad in Davos, considering he was pretty young, but still, a point every six games isn't necessarily all too good for a player trying to make a name for himself. Of course, you could argue that him being young and playing in the league in itself is a testament to the fact that he should have been drafted, but he wasn't drafted. That's it. And now he's going over to Oshawa, getting himself a second chance. So, I have no idea what's going on with the Canucks. I don't think that we have anything to hook on to with Eggenberger. The only connection that we have is just that he was invited to our camp and he didn't show up. Other than that, no, we can't sign him, I don't think. No, he's not our prospect. That's not anything related to what's been going on. But, we just gotta watch. Because if he does do well, he might get himself an NHL spot late in the 2019 draft. Or he gets himself signed to a team in a few years. All in all though, the Oshawa Generals have themselves a potential steal with their 33rd overall pick in the CHL import draft. A player who was ranked in the top 100s by some media people, TSN and Bob McKenzie had him at number 90, yet still an undrafted player. Hope you guys enjoyed this video for Boston Astral Gaming, and bye. <laughs>